Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market and this is going to be the forecast for 24th of September 2020. Um, if you want to support this channel, you're welcome to subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And the first uh, pair we're going to look at is the Great British Pound and the US Dollar. And this pair is up 0.38% to uh, uh, today. Uh, and it and that's the reason why we ran into resistance here at the 100 moving average and the 150 moving average. And at the moment, we are basically stuck between this uh, 300 moving average and these two averages. If we were to break this, we will go to the next moving average, which is the 100 moving average, which is at 1281. Uh, um, if we were to break down, we will probably see this uh, two moving averages being supported again. And if we break them, those two, will go all the way down to this level, which is at 12.51. Uh, we may do that because the technical indicators are fairly negative still. We're still uh, quite far away from the signal line, so uh, we still have downwards momentum. However, we were quite oversold, so that's the reason, well, the reason why we have this pullback. Uh, we still have the US dollar appreciating, so uh, as long as that is the case, expect this market to go lower. Uh, long run for a week is that we are having downward momentum here in the stochastic and the Bollinger Bands is also indicating that we basically can fall even lower to this level of 1260. If you look at the US dollar yen, we have rallied all the way to this blue line, which is the 20 exponential moving average. If we break that, we'll go to the 50 moving average and then continue downwards. I don't expect this market to break the 50 moving average. If we do, then the green line here, which is the 100 moving average at 106, uh, has been major uh, resistance in the past. We can see it all the way here, all uh, the last few months. It's only at this area here where you basically broke through and then broke down again. So don't expect this market to go higher than that. The, the technical indicators, we are almost crossed the signal line, indicating that we'll probably go a little bit higher from here. Uh, 50, optimistically, uh, 100 moving average. We were quite oversold. However, weekly uh, stochastic is pointing downwards, uh, the downwards momentum. So yeah, if we were to turn around here, you know, break this uh, the bottom of this candlestick here, it mean that will go all the way down to these lows. The euro and US dollar, we have broken through these moving averages and at this moment we have a very negative candlestick here, uh, indicating we will probably go much lower. We'll probably go to this uh, 100 moving average, which is at 11.57. And the reason why I say that is because of the stochastic here. The weekly stochastic is basically pointing straight downwards and we have a long way to go. So expect this market to go at least to the 1158. If we can break that, we will go to um, this uh, support area here at 1140. Um, and to the upside, I don't see a very upside at the moment, as long as the US dollar is appreciating and uh, outlook for the, uh, the economy is as it is, I don't expect this market to go higher. It will go lower before it goes higher. US dollar, uh, US, Aussie dollar, US dollar, we have run into support at the 100 moving average and we have a bounce from the 100 moving average. Uh, the technical indicators for this pair are terrible. So look at just at the, at, the, at the MACD, we are way, way, way off. And that may mean that we will go much lower from here. Next major resistance, if we break this 100 moving average, we go to 0 0.69. Uh, we're not oversold, so we may do that uh, within today or tomorrow's training day. Weekly, uh, stochastic is really negative, and, uh, and the Bollinger Band, we basically crossed way, way across the Bollinger Band. So maybe a bounce here and then go lower, if according to this Bollinger Band uh, at this point. Uh, this is not a pair that I'm willing to buy. Um, we need to basically see this pair go low and then have a turnaround in order to buy it. 
um, to sell it at the moment, I would wait until we basically get to the 50 moving average in order to sell this and ch check whether or not that is resistant. If we look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar, uh, we broke through this channel a few weeks ago now, and uh, now we are testing this uh, 100 moving average, and it looks like that is going to be resistant. Uh, we are not overbought at this point, but the other uh, indicators, especially those casting, is pointed to upward momentum. So we'll probably, we may have a trend reversal here. We have been negative for a very long time. We need to break through these uh, moving averages before we can say um, uh, we can say whether or not we have a trend reversal or not. So I hope you find this video um, helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel in order to support and hit the like button and hit the bell button. Good luck trading and thank you very much.